Hey everyone, this is Nick LaRue from Film Snobbery. I'm here at the 25th Annual First Glance Film Festival here at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Who am I here with tonight? S.J. Doss. Is he, is, who, what movie are you here with? Dear Mirror. Dear Mirror. We got another one from Dear Mirror. Okay, so uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, we got a two for now, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Dear Mirror, horror movie, short. Yep. Yep. Tell them again what it's about in case they didn't watch the other interview that we did with the actor Danny Donnelly. Okay, so um, this guy's home alone in his apartment. His girlfriend's in Los Angeles working an acting gig, and um, she pitches this idea of this. Uh, he, he asks her if they, they want to, um, uh, what's that? Do you want to play a game? Uh, what's uh, the, <laughs> I forget, uh, I can't think right now. The, That's okay. It's, oh, FaceTime, 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 sorry. That's the one. Stuck in traffic. So they want to <laughs> FaceTime, and she says she has a better idea, and it's uh, basically um, you stand in the mirror, Closes his eyes, he says something, and she'll appear behind him. So it's like a it's it's like a, a, a different version of FaceTime. It's an extreme version of FaceTime. Right. And uh, the only thing is he can't turn around at any time during it. You can only see her in the mirror. Because so. if he turns around, stuff happens. Yep. That ain't good. You want stuff to happen. You stand in front of the mirror at midnight, turn off all the lights, you light a candle, close your eyes, and you say this. Dear mirror, never so clear, I really miss my love, so please bring her here. <laughs> yep. And you're, you, you did a lot of things on this movie, more than just direct, more than just write. You did a lot of stuff. Yep. So talk to me a little bit about that experience. Um, it's really fun having, I mean, it could be tough when, um, you know, low budget and uh, you're, you're wearing all the hats, but you have more control. And you know, when you know you really want something, Especially in the score, because I do the scores, I compose the scores. It's um, it, you know, it's it just you're you're in full control, and I think music, the right music, really has to marry to what's going on in the screen, and that takes up a lot of time. And you, you know, you sit with somebody, a composer, if you're not really in tight with them, you don't have money like that, you're gonna run up a studio bill, and you're not gonna get what you want. Yeah. So, yeah. And in a horror movie, especially, uh, horror as a genre relies so much on mood, and the score is almost another character a lot, of, a lot of those movies, any type of genre movie, really, you know, uh, horror specifically. You know, was there a, a particular kind of moodscape you were kind of looking for? Were there any movies that you looked towards that you wanted to not emulate, like, copy-copy, but, you know, kind of like, I like what they did there. I want to kind of do something similar. Well, uh, not really. Uh, I wanted a music box as, like, the lead to stand out, and then I just... Um, surrounded that with a bunch of strings and whatever else went with it but the music box is really what i wanted like i got a unique uh plug-in that i found online and i programmed that into my um controller and yeah it, i i scored it probably about 10 different times until i like what i until i liked what i yeah and that's hey, it's important if you, you, if you I, don't like it chances are other people won't. i went more for like you know, I, I think today it's more of an atmosphere. It's a lot of ambience, but I actually wanted a melody to this. So, right. yeah, I went more for a melody. Like I said, I, I went like 10 different times with the score. Yeah. How long did this take to actually shoot? Um, well, we shot it in one day, one from the morning to late night. Yeah. And, uh, you know, by the end of the night, was everyone pretty much like, are we almost done yet? Or were they still kind of like, no, we're in this? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, they were in it. You know, they're going to they're gonna get fatigued, uh, I guess, how you set up the, the schedule with, you know, you want your real intense stuff more towards the end. So if you got your intense stuff and you got to come back and you got to bring it down, your actors might be worn out. Right. But yeah. Yeah, I was gonna actually going to ask, I mean, do you do you kind of almost go with the flow of the actual script in, in so that your actors feel that they're involved in the scare kind of in the same at the same time the audience would be? You know what I mean? Well, in, we in we went we went backwards how we shot this so we okay. shot we shot the second part of it and the the most extreme stuff in the beginning gotcha yeah and then uh towards the end you know at the the second half was the beginning of the film so yeah. if shooting it was one day how long was post-production 
Uh, it, it took a good amount of time because the actress Susan Moses, um, we didn't we didn't do actual makeup on her and contacts. I did it all with CGI. So I used Mocha Pro. Yep. And you know, you're tracking everything. And I, I did the makeup and Photoshop and the eyes. And that took a while. Even, you know, no matter how powerful your workstation is, it's just, it's a lot of rendering. rendering. Yeah, yeah. So, and then the score, just the score took a, that in post took a, a while. Yeah. Now, have you oh, and then, I'm sorry. And then there was this, another scene at the end. Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but don't it's it's it was really we were going to do it practically, actually, but it, it was just too much time at the end. So, gotcha. Yeah. Well, and have you how? Oh, look at that! Now I'm I'm the one who's stuck, hung up. Okay, green light. All right. So, uh, <laughs> is this your first film festival you've been to? Oh no, no. no. You've been to what? What about this festival attracted you to it? Um, 25 years, uh, Colonial Theater, um, uh, I've seen some good reviews about it. I've seen some, uh, other good films that, you know, I know some of the filmmakers and yeah. It's, yeah. Got, got to have that word of mouth. 25 years is, that's a big one right there. Absolutely. When you look right at that as you're, you know, you're pitching stuff, you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, Submitting so, stuff, I'm sorry. Yeah. Same thing. I yeah. mean, you know, it's yeah. not, it's not just some guy screening in a bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's you're at a, you're at the Colonial Theater, the historic Colonial Theater. Yeah. From the Blob, in case yep. any of you people remember. Yep. And uh, you know, also it's just, yeah, I, the programming. I, I've worked with this festival for many years. The programming's always been solid. It's the one of the things that keeps bringing me back. You know, yeah. that and you know the attractive looking gentleman behind the thing, kind of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Uh, eh, <laughs> maybe not. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we're glad to have you here at the festival, and you know, we're, I, I really hope that you get those those jump scares. If there, is it a jump scare type of situation? Are we, are we looking for that? Uh, well, it's kind of, but you know, it's. I don't. I don't cheat. I don't cheat the audience on it. So good. All yeah, right. Yeah. It's we get what we pay for. Yeah. I yep. like it. All right. Well, and we're nominated three times for this too. That's fantastic. Uh, what are your best, categories? Um, best horror short. Um, best horror short. Best Philly, best Phil, yeah, film out of Philly, and I think editing. Look, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I think it's One editing. Of those other yeah. Ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, good luck. I mean, we'll know on. I think it's Sunday is the awards night. So Nine fifteen. We'll, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll be here and and we'll be looking to see who won what. So in yeah. the meantime, I say good luck and enjoy your time with your people. Thank you. Thank you.